Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers. We're in the high seas once again, and we are done with the main campaign. We're done collecting artifacts, which means it is time to experiment. And today, I want to go as fast as I can with pure sail power only. This is essentially going to be another addition to my attempts to break the sound barrier using various types of propulsion methods. And this time, it's going to be wind propulsion. Can we get to the speed of sound using only the power of wind pushing sail? sales i'm i'm not having a lot of confidence in this one because i think in order to do that the wind has to be going supersonic and as far as i know the wind does not get that fast in this map but it's not going to stop me from trying and that's what this episode is going to be all about trying to go as fast as we can with sail power now if you missed the last episode that is where i built this amazing dragon that you can see right here it's an all right dragon so check that episode out if you haven't so, uh, the way to do this, I believe, or the way to get as fast as I possibly can is, uh, to build a brand new craft that is going to be loaded up with sails, and we're going to use a submarine to travel underwater, unhindered by wind, as far to the edge of the map as we can, and then we have to blast out of the water and convert into our sail creation as soon as possible, hopefully catching all of this wind as much as we can and achieving the fastest speed we possibly can. So I think I'm gonna start by uh, finding a sub. I know I've built subs that are designed to go fast. Here we go, this is probably decent. All right, here we go. This thing is pretty fast. This will get me to the edge of the map pretty quick. Oh my goodness, that was scary. Oh boy, just bones sticking up everywhere. Okay, how far can I go? Okay, we're pretty close to the surface right here, and I'm so far down here. I'm afraid to go any further. Let's go up and see how fast the wind is. Here we go. <laughs> it looks like 720 appears to be the max wind speed. Yeah, look at that. That is insanity right there. But the good news is, is that with how far out here we are, I think it's gonna stay at max wind speed for a while. Here, let me just go into the wind complete. Oh my God, that was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. So we're going 400, 500 kilometers an hour out of 720 wind speed. So that is without any sails. Oh, we're like skipping across the water now. So I think that is the ideal strategy. I just have to have a, uh, a particular sail-based craft that is going to be ideal to transform into. All right, now it is time to build some crazy sail craft here. So I think logically the fastest I'll be able to go is 720 kilometers an hour. Like if I have zero drag on any other part of the craft, I think I should be able to reach maximum 720. Exceeding 720 kilometers an hour using the direct power from the wind into the sails doesn't make sense to me. Although yes, I did see the Veritasium video about uh, going faster than the wind using wind power, but that works differently than how this is going to work. All right, so here is my first prototype. It's just a big sail and it has tail fins to hopefully uh, no this doesn't make any sense all of it is very counterintuitive because i'm thinking about flying through the air in this direction so i'm like oh i need tail fins to keep myself oriented but the problem is i'm flying by wind power pushing me from the back so these could actually mess me up entirely the thing is i need to be able to control myself a little bit in the air so i don't know i don't know how to do this is such a this is such a weird thing uh i'm just gonna save this and we're gonna set this as number one so let me see if i can reliably transform here is sub mode and then that's not normal what wait what why does this why does this break like that? What happened to the... What happened to the rest of it? Hey! No, that's not how I built this. Delete my blocks. Ooh, wait, yeah, okay, yeah, this is how I built this. Now, okay, wait, why is there wind underwater? What's happening here? I am so confused right now. So if I transform back into it... Uh, what? What is happening? Okay, I'm a sub now, but wait... Why am I stuck? Oh... What? 
I, okay, I just broke the sound barrier underwater somehow. Let me get up to the surface. Where's the surface? There's the surface. No, 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 not too much, not too much. Okay, now transform into this thing. I don't understand what's happening. It's breaking in the middle, and then the colors change on the back. Okay, normally this stuff doesn't happen until after I've already tried to break the sound barrier. Okay, this is normal. Can I transform into this? Why does all that stuff... Why does... What's all this... Hold on. What if I transform into this? Why does this stuff keep spawning in when I use the transform feature? Okay. See, this is good. Now if I press repair... No! Get, I need this stuff to not be here anymore. I'm probably just gonna have to exit and come back in because I have glitched something out immensely here. It's letting me transform. I didn't paint it either. I'm worried that painting is the issue now too. Like, I don't, I'm just super paranoid about everything not working. All right, here we go. We're pretty far. I'm gonna do it. This is it. This is the first test. Oh, that's the wrong one. Hold on. We're going 500. Transform, transform. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, did you see that? The wind was 720 kilometers an hour, but we hit higher. We were like in the 740s. That is groundbreaking. Oh, look at this. No, 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 I don't want to keep going. Okay, back into the water we go. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta do that correctly this time. Transform into the correct cre creation. I really wonder if we could, if we just keep stacking up sails if we can get faster and faster and maybe actually break the sound barrier okay here we go number two oh this is such a why am i going sideways like this shouldn't they be like wanting to catch the wind if that's the case i have an even better idea for a design I'm gonna build a design that's like a box of sails, so no matter which direction it catches the wind, it's gonna have some perpendicularity to the force. All right, so this is what I built so far. Pretty much no matter what direction it is, it's gonna catch a decent amount of wind. Prototype number two, trying to break the sound barrier. Huh? Okay. Oh, this is weird. Oh, there we go. Seven. Oh, uh, what? It is capping us at 720 kind of there was a weird thing that happened it got right over 720 but not until i hit the water that was super weird i don't know if you guys noticed that how did i get so high i got to like 740 the first time i went up in the air with just a couple of sails i really don't know how that happened all right here we go again this time i'm gonna go down before i go up all right 719 714 yeah, we're pretty much capped right now. 720. See, as soon as I hit the water, that's when I broke 720. I saw 721 when I hit the water, but now the wind is actually calming down. So, oh, I don't know what happened the first time. All right, out of curiosity, I'm going to add a control surface to this just to see what it does. The wind it literally won't let me turn them as much as they even can be turned. And I saw, I wasn't looking at the speed that much. I saw 726. Okay, I wish I was looking at the speed more. I was more focused on if the uh, steering actually did anything. All right, turn back into sub, please. There we go. It doesn't make any sense that we could go faster than the wind with this. All right, I'm trying an experiment here. All right, transform. I'm way up in the air now, way up in the air, 724. 719. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... It, yeah, we definitely cap out at 720, and we seem to follow... Follow the wind speed as it goes down, too. I mean, we're going faster than the wind speed because we're not slowing down as fast as the wind is. Wow, it feels like I'm not moving at all now. I'm just floating almost. I'm like a blimp. Look at this massive wave. That's kind of awesome. Hold on a second here. Let me see what this vehicle is like in a normal weather. Okay, this is really weird. It seems extremely resistant to gravity. We're kind of just floating. The wind is pushing us gradually. And you know what? I think I just realized how I can go faster than the wind. And this is probably what was happening when I was exceeding 720 kilometers an hour. 
that was probably the wind speed plus gravity. Because if I'm going 720 kilometers an hour directly with the wind, and I'm going down, falling at 20 kilometers an hour, those forces, those speeds are, might be added together in the uh, in the speedometer there. So that might have been what was happening. But isn't this such a weird creation on its own? It feels so light. <laughs> I mean, it is, but it also feels that way. All right, I'm gonna do an experiment here and I'm gonna paint this thing back up and see if that causes issues with transformation. Now we're fine. All right, well, let's add some more sails to this thing and see probably no difference in speed because I really think we're going to cap out pretty much right at the wind speed. Yeah, these sails do not give a lot of opportunity for attachment points, unfortunately. All right, let's see if this new addition breaks anything. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. 719, 720. We are exactly at 720. We're going pretty much horse. Oh! Oh, things are getting weird. Things are getting a little bit. Okay, no, we're good now. We're back to normal. Back to some low winds. All right, yeah, I think I pretty, I, I was wondering if the game was going to do some weird stuff and it did, but I meant as far as the speed goes, if somehow if we stack uh, sails on top of each other, if it was going to kind of multiply the power of the wind, but it seems like it's kind of adhering to what real life should do, which is not letting us go any faster than the max speed of the wind itself, at least in the direction of the wind. All right, let's do it again. Yep. Oh, 724. 720. Wait, where is, why are we consistently at 724 right now? See, that doesn't make much sense. Oh, this wave's messing us up. <laughs> These waves are massive over here. Oh, we just, got, we just got kicked out. We just got kicked out of the wave. Man, this is so weird. Whoa. These waves are going faster than, like, these waves are going almost 200 kilometers an hour. I was going 130 kilometers an hour, and I was losing the wave ahead of me. And the other wave was catching up to me. These are so big. I'm gonna have to do a, a massive waves build. Just a boat that traverses these massive waves because I haven't really experimented much with these things. So as far as using wind power only, I mean, these are the results that we're looking at. It seems like we really can't go much faster than the wind itself, which makes perfect sense. Now, one thing I haven't experimented with at all really is sail power. See, it's one thing to use sails to get power from the wind, but it's another thing to you it's another thing entirely to use sails to push wind. So make sure you're subscribed because coming up, I'm going to be experimenting with using sails as propulsion in and of themselves, like propellers and things like that. Um, and we're gonna see how that compares to using the wind power into the sails like this. Are we gonna be able to exceed 720 kilometers an hour and perhaps even break the sound barrier using sails? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment. Whoa. <laughs> if you wanna see more awesome stuff on the channel like this, you can go ahead and check out this stuff on the end of screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.